वेलकम टू क्लिप संगर माई फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई वांट टॉक अबाउट इंस्टा पार्क वोल्टेज ट्रांसफार्मर आई टी यू वन थाउजेंड ना दिस इज ए वन थाउजेंड वाट स्टेप अप और स्टेप डाउन वोल्टेज ट्रांसफार्मर स्लैश कन्वर्टर टू कन्वर्ट द वोल्टेज नीडेड फॉर योर होम अप्लायंस और योर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस फ्राम वन टेन वन ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी um so say for example if your charger if you your most of the most of these phone chargers they are built you know they can handle 110 120 to 220 240 now if you're traveling and if you have a us charger what do you do say for example if you're going to india you can either carry this right which is more of a universal adapter uh, slash pin converter or you can just buy this which is like a 10 rupee uh pin converter you put it over here and you're good to go for your phone charging or if you're visiting any other country uh, let's say from india to the us and if your charger looks like this which has a pin like this you can also get a 10 rupee pin converter from india before you're coming here you don't need a big uh pin converter like this you can just use this small little one 10 rupees bam and you're good to go and you can use it over here or in canada or any other country depending on where you're going or of course this anyways works like a charm because this is like a universal one different pins one size fits all whatever but what if your charger or your home appliance or your electronic device does not support 110 as well as 220 volts then what do you do so you need to convert convert that voltage right so to do that you have to use a transformer or a voltage converter like this pin converter is different than voltage converter so any time you're visiting any other country or migrating to another country and if you're carrying your device uh or your appliance or whatever like your mixers and uh, a lot of indian families when they move here they you know carry a mixer probably and then they end up burning it because they don't read the instructions uh they need a voltage converter not a pin converter um so yeah in that case this will come handy and this is probably the only solution if you want to carry that appliance or just come here simply buy it from here and then uh that will do the do all right friends <laughs> let's do the unboxing for this insta park voltage transformer itu 1000 uh this one uh let's just go th- quickly go through the instructions please check your appliances maximum power consumption we recommend the appliances power consumption does not exceed 70% of this transformer's maximum load capacity uh is less than its transformer's maximum load capacity if yes please proceed to the next step if not contact for upgrade options select input voltage according to your country's voltage on the transformer so now select 115 for using a 110 or 115 countries such as USA select 230 for using 220 230 countries such as Germany or India or any other country plug the power cord into a wall outlet additional plug adapter may be needed if not used in the USA so this you can use it in the US or even out, you can carry this outside the US and then do uh, the same switch to the voltage transformer without plugging in any appliance to the transformer the power indicator light will come on plug your appliance into the proper output outlet in the front of the transformer 110 or 220 switch on your appliance now reminder in the event of a blown overload protector please double check your appliances maximum power consumption to ensure compatibility if no problem please wait 5 minutes and press the overload protector or contact us for technical support that's their number so please be careful when you're operating this and your appliance or uh whatever so let's 
open this up again it's quite heavy almost like five kgs um, okay and that's one more pin that you get nice thick wire and this is of course this is bought in the US so it's got this kind of a pin if you're taking this out of US you would need something like this and then you need to put it in a universal converter or any other converter that you might have and if you're going to Europe with this converter or transformer you would put this or this or whatever or even this one if you're going to UK or Europe or I think this is used in the UK anyway so that's your pin that's your use your manual step up step down transformer users manual please read this and then proceed features USA grounded outlet EU grounded outlet universal grounded outlet USB charging ports two USB charging ports power switch power indicator super heavy 5 kgs full metal body excellent build I think uh, so these are the two USB ports that's your power source indicator two of these ports one of the other one which I should just showed you the pin for and that's your another um, port that's the on off switch and on the back side this is the port selection all right friends i just thought of doing a quick test and sh share it with you guys so if you are in the us you will have to select 115 push this on the left and if you see 115 you can use this in the us if you're outside the us say for example india shift this put this if you see 230 now this is on 230 input right so if you're in the us you should see 115 this is your input so and this is what you want if you want to 220 of course if you are in the US selecting 115 and if your appliance is from India or whatever and if you need 220 240 press this button right and these are the instructions and this is exactly what it says so 115 220 240 after you've selected this let's plug this in this power cord into the power source right as soon as you will uh, put this in the power source you will uh, see the light here and now this is your 220 port so now this is basically my electric bakur uh, burner which I had got it from India so and this is how the pin looks like this requires 220 240 so and that's where it's going to go so you would put this right in here and this is already on that's fine and this is switch off so of course the power source would go off power source on um, and now this you would just turn on and now because this is uh, a heat converter so you would just switch this on and there it goes you see the light over here so that means this is working it's on 
220 it's getting 220 240 or 230 and now this should get some heat and there we go it already started getting some heat so it's working and there is this is the auto cutoff for the uh, burner and that's why you see you just saw that light going off if I increase this light will again come on yep there we go so this is working perfectly fine so depending on what your appliance is you can use this to provide the voltage appropriate voltage needed for your device or your appliance or whatever so anyways i thought i'll do a quick test and show it to you guys uh, hopefully this helps so yeah friends as you saw this one has a lot of ports this can support a lot of uh, different uh, home appliances or devices in different countries uh, and can support different voltages um, and hopefully this will be safe and it'll be helpful to you I don't know uh, but yeah uh, you know read the instructions and be careful while uh, using these kind of appliances or if you don't know contact your electrician and only then use it um, so yeah uh, just be safe but anyway uh, so if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments drop it in the comment section i'm going to leave the li uh, link in the description and subscribe to the channel guys and i'll see you in the next one peace out Bye bye